not need to be beaten. She beats herself. Not with a leather whip, or with stick, or twigs. Not with a blackjack, or a billy club. But with the fine whip of her own tongue, and the subtle beating of her mind against her mind. For who can hate her half so well as she hates herself? And who can match the finesse of her self-abuse? Years of training are required for this. Twenty years of subtle self-indulgence. Self-denial. Until the subject thinks herself a queen and yet a beggar both at the same time. She must doubt herself in everything but love. She must choose passionately and badly. She must feel lost as a dog without her master. She must refer all moral questions to her mirror. She must fall in love with a cousin or a poet. She must never go out of the house unless veiled in paint. She must wear tight shoes so she always
fate. Hanging on the horizon, hot and hollow like a setting sun. It was inevitable. There is no happy ending to this.